four types of secondary operations may be performed on die castings after the initial die casting process. Trimming, machining, impregnating, surface finishing. Die castings are ejected from the dies with their gates, runners, overflows, and metal extensions, called flash, attached, and must be separated from these incidental features, which may be remelted and recast. Separation is normally accomplished in trim dies, which shear off the unwanted scrap features. In some cases, particularly with small and mini-sized castings, degating dies are employed, which remove the casting from the scrap during ejection. In other metal shearing operations, the rough casting must incorporate features that will provide support in the trim die. The casting must also have sufficient strength and rigidity, so the finished casting will not be deformed by the forces generated in trimming. The runners and overflows are utilized for support as much as possible, but the casting design must reflect the requirements imposed by the trimming operations. It is usually advantageous to consult with the die caster early in the design process to ensure that proper allowance has been made for the trimming. Metal extension occurs at the die parting. Thus, trim die cost can be reduced if the parting surface can be kept in a single plane. Further economies in trim costs can be realized by eliminating or avoiding irregular features on the parting line. The cost of more complex multi-stage trim dies can be justified when costly secondary operations can be eliminated, lowering final piece part costs.